absolute spaghetti oops, hot dogs. Well, lads. Have you seen this one? Oh, Alright, fella. What's this then? Look at this. This is our boffy. For a boffy. What is a boffy? They're all shepherding huts. What is the use of them now? Uh, it's like a shared, a shared space, it's like a camping. Anyone, anyone bit. can go use them as long as you respect them. That you can't book them. It's just turn up if there's people there. There's people there. It's good to know that some people like us have been. I wonder if they've traced that. <laughs> so we thought what would be a good idea is if we review these bobbies. Great, your uh, experience. experience. You're fucking ridiculous. <laughs> but first of all, this is the weirdest location for a go outdoors ever. We're in the middle of like a big industrial complex. This is a big one. That's what she said. Oh, they have a horse section. Have you noticed that owl straight to the child mannequin before his mouth opened? Yeah. Should we look at the knickknack area? Um, it's not bad. We've got cutlery that we sell. Is this so? Is this the dry food that you put water yeah, in? Yeah, complete dehydrated meal. I'm Veggie breakfast, Lordy. You're sorted there, lad. Buy one, get one half price. Eat out of the pouch. This quick is and, quick and tasty. This is what we want. <laughs> get a meal. I get two meal deals for that. Yeah, that's true. These are a rip-off, don't buy these. Yeah, just get buy some like dried noodles or something if you're after go, that. You go, can get them for a pound. Go around your local park, pick up dried dog food. <laughs> dried dried dog <laughs> Go around go around your local park, pick up dried dog food. Forget it. Rubbish crap, crap, crap. Really good. No, no, that's not good. That's all rubbish. Go to up the hood.com. We got good stuff over there. Are we tenting? This is all right. Oh, this... There's a little latch for your boots. Should me and you just get one of these, and we'll stay in this, and Al can just go off filming himself. Yeah. Filming himself. And then we can film ourselves. <laughs> we'll be on our OnlyFans coming soon. <laughs> all of our OnlyFans videos are filmed in a roof tent on a cardboard car. <laughs> <laughs> I think this video is going slightly off topic. It is going a lot off topic. So, so please mind your step. Why Why have you got to hit every sign? Have you got some kind of like ADHD smacking thing? No, look, there's a sign here. Yeah, and I bet you can't, you really want to hit it. There you go. Nothing happened. Get it out, get it out of your system. Get it out. All right, come on, let's go. In here, them gaps no I love, I love gay sex in a tent. <laughs> Come on, let's stop prattling about now and get to the main event. And on we go! <laughs> We're going up a very windy road. Oh shit. This car. can't this doesn't do it justice, but it's fucking here we go. Oh, oh you fucking oh, smashed it. You smashed it, lad. Quite steep, quite windy. This is where we all die. Jesus fucking Christ, it's so encouraging it. <laughs> Be careful because the telegraph falls on the fucking. Come on, Ruthie. Are you pissed? Me? Why have you got back in? Oh, fuck it, I'm sorry. The view is uh, very nice. Are you struggling for new food ideas? Are you bored of eating mashed potatoes, beans, and a few sausages every night when you come home from grafting all day? Then I've got the solution for you. Just get involved with HelloFresh. So once a week, you'll go online, pick from a menu of what meals you want, and then meals will be conveniently delivered to your door in a nice refrigerated box. No going to the supermarket and having to say hi to people that you live next to. You can play around with stuff and then you can get yourself a set menu that when you come home from work every day, all the ingredients are there for you. Oh look, it's Jean from down road. Hiya Jean. It's perfect for the lazy man. It's perfect if you want to get healthy. I'm the lazy woman. And then you see her on every single aisle you go down for the entirety of your shopping trip. So every single time you see her, you've got to go, oh, look, it's you again. Oh, are you getting some potatoes? Get fucked, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can cancel at any time. And if you're going on honeymoon to Barbados. I'm currently on my honeymoon in Barbados. You can put it on pause for week week or two depending on how much budget you set aside for your honeymoon my food's delivered to my door now i don't have to speak to you anymore <laughs> there's a wasp in the van get out you 
dirty water. Did that come out of the HelloFresh box? <laughs> that is it. That's Hello. That's what they sent us. We've got to snag it. <laughs> sent us wasp meat. <laughs> So if you want to use HelloFresh, use our discount code on the screen now. You'll get 60% off your first order, and then your next eight after that, you'll get 25% off them each. So get that good stuff. <laughs> we definitely need to, to figure out our lightweight camping. There's no such thing. <laughs> the, thi the thing is though, right? You can go you can go camping, right? And it can be lightweight as fuck. But we've got to carry loads of camera equipment as well. Yeah, that's true. So like, like my entire yeah, bag is that's, camera that's equipment. That's already a man down. Apart from the four cans of Strongbow and the Pepsi that I've got in it. <laughs> How far is it? Uh, and about an hour. We're all good. We're ready to rock and ride. I've got two options for us. Convenience or adventure. Convenience, we take the high road and then we drop down off the hill straight in. Right. Or adventure leads us downhill, then back uphill. Then we've got to kind of follow a stream. All right. Till we get to it. So, would you rather have convenience or adventure? Which one would be more interesting on camera? <laughs> Probably adventure. Well, let's go that way. We've been walking eight minutes. 54 uh, seconds no, and uh, Lloyd is already given up. He wants to pack up shop, but he wants to tent up here. Technically Lloyd is not carrying out that benefits us. <sighs> Nearly there. Sheep just don't look nice to eat, do they? What, and you think cows and pigs do? No, but if you put that next to a pig, I'd be like, I'd probably eat the pig. <laughs> Tell the story. What happened to you last time? Oh, so I... <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night. I woke up because I could smell this horrible fucking stench. So I woke up in the middle of the night smelling this smell. And I looked over and Emily was awake. And I was like, what is that fucking smell? I'm like, has the dog shit the bed? And I got up, because I'm like half asleep. I got up thinking, the dog shit in the bed. So I got up and I'm like, I'm going to have to change the bed sheet. And she's like, oh no, it's all right, it's all right. Like, what do you mean she... I'm paraphrasing here. But she was like, it's you? I'm like, what? She's like, you keep fighting, you've been fighting all night. I had a curry that night. Anyway, I went back to bed and I've literally fallen asleep for must be like 10 minutes and I woke myself up by fighting. <laughs> Your own farts woke you up. Yeah, no, but like the vibration on my ass cheeks, I was like, what the fuck is that? But yeah, she said I was fighting all night. I didn't even know I could do that. What, farting your sleep? Yeah, well, I'm not. But then again, I guess I'd go asleep if I did it, so I don't know. I, I've never heard anyone fight in their sleep. Are you coming to start? Oh. Getting a run up. Is it a problem? Run up, you prick. He don't like you, Al. He's got a good memory then, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even the right song. We'll always... No, it's not. <laughs> it's, um... Uh, no, it's not. That's not the right song. It's not And I. That's Tina Turner, isn't it? Yeah. I might be. I don't know. No, it's, um... That don't impress me much. <laughs> what is it? It is. It's not. Why the fuck does he just keep stopping? I realise we've got more than halfway to go still. Come on, lads. What? What's the? What's the theme oh, tune to we? Titanic? My heart will go on. My heart will go on. And my, I, no. my heart will go. <laughs> what? Well, how does it go? Um. Good if through the lifetime and you, I feel you. Every night in my dreams Go on My heart will go on I will always love you We've entered a bog Why do you shoot that waterproof? 
Oh, it's his shoes that are wet. Wet shoes. I'm not walking an hour in wet shoes. Well, he's going home. He's had enough. Tensions are running high. Yeah, this is fine now. His feet aren't waterproof. Well, they are technically, but his shoes aren't. Never mind. So they used to be. Our shoes used to be waterproof, but he took a blade to him one day. And he said, I'm never walking anywhere again. And he tried to cut up most of his shoes and then he came to his senses. It was a drug fueled rage. Audie's now disappeared in, into the ether. I think he might be dead. We've, we've come to a point where we can't ignore the part that I thought you'd be excited about. Those trees? No, for me. I love a good tree. I love a good tree. I love a good tree. You know what? I love those trees that like they grow to about they're like this high, and yeah. you can grow in greenhouses. Yeah. And then you cut all bits off, and then you can smoke. <laughs> Come to the point. I love them trees. <laughs> oh wow! Are they wild horses? Yeah, black slugs. Now, according to my mum, hi mum, if you're watching this, according to my mum, if the black slugs come out, it means it's gonna rain. Now, I don't know if this is some kind of old Irish myth, but um, that's what it means. And I've seen a couple on the way in, so we'll see. Hello. They're very tame. Yeah, there's two people in that. <laughs> One carrying on and getting to the Bothic is getting windy. I'm dark. Come on. I've got eyes on the bothy, and there's one good sign. There's no smoke coming from the chimney. How are you doing? You all right? We've arrived, and there are many people, as you can tell. Um, I think some are just cooking, and then we've got one guy from Cardiff who's, um, who's camping here because it is a bit windy and shitty to sleep in, so. I think we're just going to chance it and sleep in here. I mean, he's no arm. He doesn't look too menacing. But we could take him. Al's been training for like the last six months to come to a bobby and beat someone up, so I think we'll be alright. It's taken us just shy of two hours to get here. Close to four miles. Well, lads. Alright, fella. What's this then? Look at this. This is our bobby. This is the kitchen slash squat. Um, we, this is on, this is not our stuff, by the way. This is who the hell brought this? What is it? Tikka sauce. We've got some rations if the Germans come. We've got a fireplace if the Germans come. And this is the bedroom in case the Germans come. This is all our stuff. This is I can't remember his name. Ian, let's just call him Ian. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot his name. Oh shit, his name's Graham or whatever he's called. That's Graham's... That's Graham. He's really thin. Good luck for tonight, Graham. That's all his stuff. He pissed the bed last night, it's just dry in there. Um, and we're just about to cook some food. Oh, boys. What? We're gonna have a card later. Oh, oh yes. yeah, let's have a give a snap. Yeah, come and look at some of the stuff people have Strip like. snap. The so bin. This is the toothpaste, tiger balm, wound cleansing, plasters, mm -hmm. tissues. Are there any Johnnies in there? Some tampons. In case you need one for to your ass tonight. Don't you? Oh, it's a shame we didn't have a ball. We could have had a bit of backgammon. We could throw hot dogs to each other. So That's what I was going to ask you. You know these walls? Yeah. Are they mould? Yeah. So basically... We're sleeping in a mould. We're sleeping in an abandoned building. Iron brew. Hang on a minute. That says Philip Schofield came here. <laughs> it's good to know that some people like us have been. I wonder if they've traced that. <laughs> that's, that's to scale for me. Some woman turned up and accidentally took Brad's chocolate. Is that a euphemism? Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate's a chocolate word for virginity. Someone accidentally took... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
Does anybody want some uh, Nando's Perry salt? Is it actually from Nando's? Oh, yeah. it's from Nando's. Why have you got this? Did you find it? What? <laughs> where have you got just, these just from? from Nando's Perry salt. <laughs> what, where have you got these from? Uh, just Eat Guy delivered them a bit ago. <laughs> What, just these? Yeah, just, 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 just those. Outside. It cost me 80 quid delivery. Have you had your steak? Um, extremely well done. Half an hour in oven. <laughs> Frank style. Five past ten. This place is pretty amazing. We are in the middle of nowhere. I wanted to try and find some wood, but obviously there's no fucking trees and the only trees that we came across were the ones near the horses. <sighs> Won't mind a little bit of a fire. So, Richard, our lovely neighbour. Oh, is, is he real Richard? Yeah. Oh, we kept calling him Graham. <laughs> <laughs> He's just said to us, if we need him, shout, because he's taking his hearing aids out. So I was like... Oh, that might be a good thing, because you won't be able to hear us in the night. And he didn't answer. And I said it really loud. So he's pretty much deaf. So we can have sex and he won't hear it. <laughs> Found some stuff to burn. <laughs> we've, we've, Are you serious? I've been seven miles for that. We've made a discovery, <laughs> not That one's been and found all six twigs that exist on this hillside. What are you cooking, lad? Um, um, sausages look a bit unhealthy. But they're radioactive. Do you want a bit of sa sauce? <laughs> I'm actually going to put a bit of that on. I, I used it. We've got another guest. Someone else has arrived. Well, yeah. Joining Richard on the bottom bunk. All three of us are on the top bunk. Bit of a squeeze, but we'll manage it. Yeah, we're at cards. No, right on bottom. You have to teach me cards. Right, let's get all our clothes off now. I think there is like a little vent at the back of the fire. <laughs> so they could just go through there. Mm. I'm pick up two. What about me? Pick up two? Yeah, uh, yeah alright then. So the aim of the game is to get rid of all your cards. I feel bad that they're going to sleep. No. Oh, so are these my cards? Uh, yeah. Why well, have I got bloody jokers in here? You don't take it jokers out, you oh, idiot. I didn't know they were in there. So that means you miss a go. Mine? Because I forgot an eight. I don't believe in my dog. You miss a go. So at what point do we start taking his clothes off? Nice card. Oh, you... You idiot! But don't you have to say last card? We did say last card. Last card. Not before you play it. No, you say last card when you've got your last card. Yeah, you just say it as long as you say it. If you don't say it, then... I'm so, I'm so clever, I won a cardboard squares. Alright, mister. I've never played a card game. I've never watched Star Wars. I've never had a pot noodle. I've never left my bedroom. I've never kissed a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Not a real one anyway. Just go in and get in bed. What? Just go in and get in bed. Without laughing. <laughs> see, see what I
gas refiller. <laughs> it is no, I said. I said to Al, oh my rate yeah. your uh, experience. overnight experience on a scale of Wallaby Island to the port. <sighs> Fucking hell, that's hard. Wallaby Island was nicer than that. Yeah, well, wasn't it? But what I said was, place. This is the best experience. This was the worst. Honestly, last time we slept on concrete and it was nicer. This is basically a, a shelf for people. It's not a bed. The view's good. Now we've got a kitchen bit. But yeah, now we've got to pack all this stuff up and we've got about a two hour walk back. If we were just co if we were coming just to cook, it wouldn't have been Yeah, if it were just a place to stay after a hike. Yeah, yeah for its intended use. Yeah, yeah. but I, I all night I just kept feeling bad that they were trying to sleep and we were in here laughing his heads off. Oh. God, last night. I can't remember what we were laughing about. I can't I just, remember what I felt, I felt bad. He, he was like, he was like embarrassed. Yeah, yeah I was very, I like buried myself in my sleeping bag so my yeah. head was inside it. I can't believe I can't believe you didn't hear him snoring. I didn't hear a, I didn't hear a damn yeah, thing all night. All night. Because I listened to some, I listened to a podcast, and then like in middle of the night, turned like it finished. And I woke up from his snore, I was like, for fuck's sake. So I like, listened to the beginning of this podcast like three or four times last night. He's fucking snoring like, fuck. I kept waking up really close to the edge. There was one point I woke up, right? And I was like touching out. And my whole bottom sheet was over the edge. <laughs> How are you dressed up like a, a Manchester up. band member that never made it? Excellent analogy, that one. Isn't it? Like this. Is it the glasses? Wait, is that what your band's called? <laughs> it's back called the glasses. Is that the sleeping bag that was left here? Yeah. You should stuff it full of things so people think someone's inside it. Is that a bag that was left here? Yeah, well, it was. Someone's going to get a right scare. Let's just get out of here before we fucking burn the place down.